What's up everybody, this is Gunter Serverlow. This is the configuration and setup for the Ermis Airlift Services script. To begin with, we are going to take a look at the files for the demo mission for this script. Let's go there right now. We are now on my desktop in the Arma 3 user missions folder. Now we're going to use the demo mission for the script as a reference. So let's open that up. So first go to your local disk, users, your username, documents, Arma 3, and then missions, and then down to where you have the demo mission for the script. All right, let's open up the demo mission. And inside we have three files, the mission SQM, which is the demo mission itself, the INIT SQF, and the HAS folder, which contains the script. Let's open up the HAS folder. And here we have two more scripts. The first one is HAS FNC SQF. This is the main script. And then you have the user config. We're going to be working with the user config. Basically, what we're going to do is go over a couple of things in the user config, and then we're going to go to the editor, and I'm going to show you how to set everything up for the script. So let's open up the user config. You can open it up with Notepad or WordPad. And there's three things that we want to look at for the sake of the editor. Now, line four, we have RYD HAS base. And basically what this is, is this name right here is going to be the name that you're going to put in a game logic that you're going to place on the map in the editor. Next, we have the array for the names of the playable units. So when you place units down and make them playable, you will need to name your units. Now, that you, the names could be anything you want. For this tutorial, we're going to use the names that you see here. So this is what you need. So you need to have your game logic name, the names of the units that you're going to be placing. And then if you scroll down to line 31, we have two helicopters. So basically all the helicopters that you place, you will name them. And again, for this tutorial, we're going to use the names of the helicopters from the demo mission. All right, let's go to the editor and I'm going to show you how to set all this up. See there. All right, we're back in game. Let's go to the editor and choose Altus and press continue. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Almira Desert. And this scenario is going to be set up just like the module tutorial. Now, there's no particular order that you have to do this. You don't have to do your units first or the helicopters. As long as you have certain components that the script requires, it will all work. We're just going to start with the units first and go from there. So let's go to F2 and place down con team. The recon team consists of six members, which in the user config, it has six names, unit one through six. What we want to do first is make all these guys playable. So since they are highlighted, we're going to right click them, then go down to attributes, scroll down the menu a little bit until you see playable, click on the box and press OK. So now each one of these units is playable. Next step which is required by the script is to name your units. So let's start with the team leader. Double click him and in the variable name you're gonna name him unit 1. And Press OK. And We're gonna go to the next guy. Name him unit 2. Press OK. To the next guy. Unit three, press OK. Name this guy unit four, press OK. Name this guy unit five, 
Press OK. And the last guy. Unit 6. Press OK. Alright. To make sure that these are all named, you can hover your mouse cursor over them and you'll see in brackets Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, our next step is we're going to zoom out a little bit. We're going to go to the map. And then we're going to go to where in the module tutorial where the helicopter is replaced. So with this we're going to go to F1 and the first thing we're going to do is place helipads. So we're going to go to props and then type in helipad. So we're going to place invisible helipad and actually we're going to place two of them because we're going to have two helicopters. And that's it for that. Next, we're going to go back to F1, and we're going to go to Helicopters, and place two Ghost Hawks. And let's just position them this way. Place our second one. Place him this way. And now for this next step, which the script requires, is you're going to name your helicopters. So double click on your first hel ghost hawk and just like the, you did with the units we're gonna name this guy Heli 1 and press OK. Then we're gonna go to the second helicopter go to the variable name name him Heli 2 press OK and that part's done. So that's step two. Quick review. Step one is to name your units, playable units. And then step two is to name your, your placed helicopters. And step three is going to be this one, where what you do next is go to F5 under Systems. And then go to Logic Entities, which is right here. And then go down to Objects and then to game logic and we're gonna place a game logic in between these helicopters and double click on the game logic and under the variable name you're gonna name it RYD underscore HAS underscore base press OK this game logic has to be where your base is at. So if you're out in the field and you call for a helicopter and you want to return the base, the helicopter is going to return you to the area or position of this game logic. So keep that in mind. The next step, now that we got that done, the next step is to transfer the files from the demo mission to your mission that you just created or our demo mission here. So we're going to save this and under Altis we're going to name this Pass Demo and press save and I'll see you back at the folder where the Pass Demo mission is. We're back on the desktop and we're in the user missions folder for Arma 3. Here's the demo mission. Let's open that up. And then let's locate the mission that we made, which is the Haas demo. We're going to open that up. And what we're going to do next is we need to transfer the scripts from the Haas demo to our mission that we created. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the initialization script, hold down shift, and then click on Haas, the Haas folder. Next, you're going to hold down control and then press C. And then what that will do, it'll, it'll copy these two and go over to your, your new mission click on the folder so it's kind of open or highlighted 
hold down control and then press V and what that does is it basically this copies and pastes it over here so now we have the initialization and Haas so if we open this up go to the user config and in the editor we placed six units a recon team and named each um, member of that team unit one through six we did that then we placed two helicopters and we named them heli one and then heli two and then we placed a game logic which was named RYD, RYD HAS base now if you got those you're pretty much all set so what we're gonna do next now that we have these files transferred what we're gonna do is go back in game and test to see if the script is functioning with our new mission all right I'll see you in game all right back in game let's play the scenario all right as you can see we've got the hint at the top this is chopper available four calls left and we got the call for transport call for supplies in our action menu let's call for transport here's all our guys let's get our smoke ready chopper should be that direction I'm going to throw a smoke ahead of time. Signal your position. The chopper is approaching. There he is. Signal spotted. So the heli, the pilot, has uh, seen our signal. speed this up a little bit tell my guys to get in to base Alright guys, as you can see, the script works, and when we return to base, the chopper has brought us back to basically where he starts on a helipad, and the game logic would be roughly in between them. That's it for the configuration and setup of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that and learned this. Have fun with the script. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.